So I got a question for you guys, right? What do Neptune and Nepgear have in common? Why am I asking that? Well, we know that the CPUs are born from their citizens' faith. And it seems to have the CPUs who are born from their citizens' faith tend to have similar characteristics, thus being sisters. For example, Noir and Uni, they're both tsundere's with similar hairstyles, and you could even argue that well, I see a lot of tsundere's in other types of anime with that particular hairstyle, but regardless, that seems to be what the people of Blast Station want. The people in Louis, like, come on, you guys, Blonde, Ramen, Ram, you, you know what they are. Not even gonna say it, like, just, it's obvious. And then Lean Boss, even though Vert's the only one, it seems like they share her philosophy as well, that bigger is better. We hardly hear about the people in Planetune, although when we do, they just say they really like Neptune. They don't really specify, you know, what is that aspect of a CPU that they like? And I've been trying to think about this for a while, and I think I've come up with the answer. It's that Neptune and Nepgear are both main characters. Now hear me out on this, all right, before you just dismiss this point entirely. I was talking to somebody a long time ago, and he mentioned an interesting fact, how it seems like Neptune represents Sega being friends with the other competitors, you know? In the first game, and in Rebirth 1, Neptune was the one who united the other CPUs. They were at war with each other, hence the console wars, and since Neptune was a theoretical console, they could, you know, do whatever they wanted with her, and they made her the main character to, you know, befriend everyone, but... It actually happened in real life. Sega has been on the other three consoles. And Neptune represents that. And then you also have Nepgear who managed to round up all the candidates and become somewhat of a leader figure herself. So you could say that Planetum people want a CPU who will be friends with the other nations. They want to be friendly. They're a friendly nation. Because that's the only thing I can think of. Because that's the only thing that really... Because the other CPUs, you can point out and say, Oh yeah, they're both Sundaries. Or, oh yeah, the Bon, Ram, and Ram, they're of smaller stature. Or, you know, it's just, you, can all, you can point out those characteristics on the other CPU. But really, the only thing Neptune and Neptune has is that they've united the other CPUs and CPU candidates respectively. And were able to, you know, and their main characters. Um, and they're always a, uh, at the front of, you know, whatever conflict happens, so, but I mean, that's a part of being a main character. So, anyways, those are my thoughts. Um, I hope I got my point across. I recorded this like 30 times and I'm, I'm just done. I'm like, all right, I'll, let me just get this out. What are yours, guys? Do you think that that's the reason that that's what Planetoon CPUs look in there? I mean, that would also explain why I hate to bring up the last video again, because I'm not trying to connect this one to that one, but Plutia and Uzume, I said that they were both main characters, but that doesn't mean, like, first off, Plutia's from another dimension, and we won't even get into Uzume, but... Like, I don't think, I just think it's Neptune and Nepgear respectively, as those two are sisters. And I think that's the only, you know, that's all, even, like, there may be predecessors in the other nations, but that doesn't mean that the people would have the same mentality as uh, the nations progress. And that's actually one theory I was thinking about, that, you know, these candidates represent what they would like, a ch uh, the change in their CPU. But how would that make sense if the candidates are born from excess share? You know, because that means that people would have to be believing in their CPU and it would be get to the point where, you know, it's too almost too much and then the candidates are born. At least that's what they said in Rebirth 1. They may retcon that and that's fine because that game is not canon with the normal series. Um, but that's all we have to go on right now. We really need a game to explain what happened because we don't even know, like, how long were the others in charge before the candidates were born and... Were they friends automatically, or did they have some troubles they have to go through? We don't know uh, the past of the hyperdimension. So, anyways, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Post them down in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys next time.